Good evening. Hello. I'm Joel Heller, one of the producers of Winnebago Man. This is Malcolm Bullinger. We have a very special guest introducing the film tonight who was an inspiration to us on many levels. Um, the very first documentary I ever saw in a theater was about 20 years ago, Roger and Me, and it was... And I was in the theater a little bit uptown just around the same time that Jack Rebney was shooting an industrial video for Winnebago. <laughs> um, Michael Moore has been an inspiration to us, showing us how funny documentaries can be, and has continued throughout the process since we premiered the film at South by Southwest to be in our corner um, in a tremendous way, and um, was a big part of how we were able to get here tonight. Uh, let you do the honors. Ladies and gentlemen, Michael Moore. I am honored to, to be here to introduce this film. I, I saw a cut of it about a year and a half ago, and uh, I just, I, 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 it was one of these films where you just, you can't take your eyes off it, and uh, and then it becomes, it becomes something else, it's something um, even more um, than, than just the laughs, but but as you said, it's, it's, it's rare, uh, um, and I've encouraged uh, other documentary filmmakers to not be afraid to use their sense of humor uh, because it can be a, a great way to communicate uh, with people and also it can also be a very effective political weapon. Um, but uh, we rarely get to see that in a documentary. Most people are afraid to, uh, to, to do that and, um, and I understand that because it's all, you know, humor is a, is, a, is a risky thing sometimes and, uh, uh, and as we have all known since junior high school. And, uh, so, so, uh, so when I first saw this I just was so a thrill to uh, uh, be in the company of Kindred Spirits and uh, and wanting to support this film. Uh, so I brought it to my film festival uh, in Michigan and uh, have uh, been very encouraging in terms of uh, trying to get them uh, distribution and support and attention. And uh, and I think that's what they're going to get now. I think you're in for a real surprise uh, tonight. And uh, and I hope you each go and tell uh, 10 or 20 people about this film. Because as you know, with independent films, this first weekend, this first week is critical, and uh, it, 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 this theater needs to be back every day. It's already sold out for the night and tomorrow, and so <laughs> tell people to come here to the AMC uh, Empire and uh, and and uh, support uh, this kind of film. Uh, now we also have another special guest with us uh, tonight, and um, and uh, he flew all the way in uh, from Los Angeles. Uh, for this premiere, please uh, give a warm New York welcome from Curb Your Enthusiasm, Mr. Yeah. Jeff Garland. Yeah. Uh, we, we actually uh, took a trip in a Winnebago about, what was it, about 10, 12 years ago? Yes. And uh, maybe you'd just like to just go ahead and relay what happened. Um, we got laid a lot. That's <laughs> all you need to know. Mike behind the Winnebago getting laid all across America. And we shot all of it, except for the laid parts. The meeting the young ladies. You know. Okay, but here's a little secret I want to tell you. Um, um, about uh, ten years ago, I got a phone call from a uh, friend of mine who's very sweet, kind, loving, loving person uh, who, uh, Larry David is his name, <laughs> and he called me and he said, uh, you see this guy on YouTube? He said, well, what are you talking about? He goes, there's a guy in Winnebago, it's unbelievable on YouTube. <laughs> so I said, no, he goes, I'm going to write a show where I play a guy like him. <laughs> so, wow. if you like to your enthusiasm, it's based on Winnebago Man. <laughs> you don't know the secret. Uh, I don't care who makes the post, Larry's going to be pissed at me. Because Larry David, really the guy that I know, is 
was so gentle and so loving and sweet and fun. Now, he is actually a wonderful guy, but he stole everything from uh, Jack. He did the whole thing. So if you want to see what Jack was like as a Jew, that's your And at some point, we will release the Winnebago footage, right? Yes. Yeah, but not the part that you're talking about. No, no, not that part. Yeah, okay. Uh, thank you. It's an honor to be here. I'll be leaving shortly uh, for dinner, but you'll stay and enjoy the movie. Thank you, Tim Carlin. Called page six, man. You can't like say shit like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, all right, all right. Anyways, but um, uh, but like the man he was describing, uh, Larry David, uh, and uh, you'll get to meet Jack after the movie, um, who uh, is a is a very uh, um, a good and uh, um, and uh, uh, gentle man himself. Uh, and <laughs> it will be hard to believe that while you're watching the movie, but. Um, but I'm really glad that uh, he's made the trip here. He's now 80 years old, um, and uh, he just beat me in a foot race out in front of the theater. So <laughs> there you go. Um, all right, so we're gonna we're gonna get started. Any questions? <laughs> um, Capital of Vermont. <laughs> I'm here, correct. Okay. Uh, okay. I think we're ready to go. So uh, thank you all of you for being here at the very first screening uh, uh, in the evening uh, in New York City for Winnebago Man. I'm happy to. Thank you very much.